Am I the asshole for being upset that I'm not involved in my brother's wedding which I am paying for? I, F31, have a brother, M29, and he is getting married next year. We lost our mum in 2012 and our dad in 2016. We are each other's only living relatives. I have a good job, I earn a lot of money, £150,000 per year. My brother also has a good job, but doesn't earn anywhere. Near as much, £35,000. We we raised to always look after each other and share. My partner and I are child free. Over the years I have paid for my brother's master's degree, paid the down payment on his house, our parents rented, so there is no family home. I will also be paying for my future SIL, F26, and my brother to have future rounds of IVF. SIL works part-time and earns about 15k a year, her parents are not well off. My brother asked if I could contribute to the cost of the wedding. I said I'd pay for it, as is as small with 100 guests, and set up a wedding account for them into which I put £25,000 which they both have access to. SIL's entire family are involved as bridesmaids and groomsmen. My husband and I are guests. Brother and Sil have been going around venues with her family, and I get emailed the costing if it's selected. I told my brother I don't mind paying for the wedding but I feel really weird that everyone else is involved in the decision and I'm just involved with paying. Brother has said that I'm not our parents, I can't replace our parents and that's why I'm not involved. Why can't I just do something nice without making him feel shit? I feel like an asshole for causing drama, but also feel taken advantage of. Am I the asshole? Update. This is in the UK, in Northern Ireland to be exact. 35k is a good salary. I don't have student debt to pay off because I didn't go to uni. I was in the military before becoming a commercial pilot. My brother's salary will increase as at his company, he needed a master's to progress beyond his current rung. Sill works part-time because she has a medical issue, she will never be able to work full-time because of this. Related it is unclear if this is impacting fertility. In knee you get one round of IVF on the NHS which they did. They paid for two more at 8k each. Sill family paid for another and stipulated they wouldn't be able to afford to pay for a wedding if that was the case. Brother and Sill have been emotionally through the ringer with fertility issues, it isn't a cynical attempt to get money. For all of y'all talking about adoption, there is some serious bullshit about SIL's illness meaning they aren't attractive candidates. I am close with my brother but do pay for things we do together. He has really been there for me emotionally, especially during some personal problems I experienced just before and after I left the military. Future Sill was too. They didn't plan the engagement party, Sill family did and they didn't invite me because my husband and I are never available. We just have jobs that have us moving around a lot. Sill and brother were horrified. No one told them we hadn't been invited. They assumed we just didn't show up, but that was resolved and we had a lovely meal together instead. My husband is supportive of our financial assistance. We are also helping his sister with her college costs. The why she had to go to the US when we have university educations that don't cost an arm and a leg right here is beyond me. Also any of you who have paid your way through an American degree I salute you. I still don't know what to do, but I do think maybe I'm not setting him up for success as I hoped, and also that I do deserve some recognition even if it's just privately from him. We'll keep you updated. Not the asshole. You are not his parent but, let's face it, you have certainly financially supported him like one in so many different ways. And it doesn't sound like you are trying to control things, just want to be included the same as SIL's family has been. Now that he is going to be a great big married adult, I think it is time you cut off your support and let him be the independent person he is. Edit. Wow. Thanks for the awards. Not the asshole. You are paying for entirely too much. If they can't afford a wedding on their own, then they can't afford kids. You need to stop being the gravy train. Not the asshole. You're being taken advantage of. What kind of relationship do you have? Because this looks like it only comes down to money when talking about your brother. Edit. After reading your replies, the sisters are bridesmaids, the brothers of the bride are groomsmen, you didn't even got invited to the engagement party? Dot. You have paid for so much stuff aside from their wedding, also pretend to pay for IVF. Let me tell you, if they don't have enough money for IVF, they probably don't have enough to maintain a child. I advise you to please stop paying for their stuff, is too much. Not the asshole wow you're not even a bridesmaid? Or maid of honor? Your husband isn't a groomsman? And you haven't been invited to any planning, even as a courtesy? You're essentially just a walking ATM to your brother. Tell him since you're not his mom, you won't be paying for the wedding. 
Siblings don't contribute money to weddings. Not the asshole. It's not like you're demanding to make all the decisions, it's just weird that they're involving her family but not you, the person paying for the whole thing. If you can't replace your parents in the planning, then don't replace them with a financial contribution either. NTA. But after the wedding the ATM is closed. That money you were going to give them put into savings. If they really do not have that much money they don't have the funds to raise a family unfortunately. Not the asshole brother is taking advantage of you. Using your parents as an argument like that to shut you down is a shit thing to do and honestly I would be tempted to seriously rein the costs in or pull the plug completely. What's going to be next? Oh they're having kids will you pay for the entire nursery etc etc. Oh but you can't meet them yet. Whilst everyone else does. Birthday party please pay oh but you can't come that would be weird. But entire extended family is there. Time to stop being the piggy bank, or at least rein it in a whole lot. I would not give them another cent. They can pay for their own IVF you are not responsible for two adults that have jobs what the hell. He will continue to use you if you allow it. Stop it now. Am I the asshole for telling my 13 year old sister that she's the reason she doesn't have friends? Changed all names due to privacy. Sounds bad, but let me explain. I, 19F, have a sister, Nora. 13F, first and foremost, I want to confirm that Nora is a smart kid. She's classified as being moderately gifted, bordering on highly gifted. However, Nora is incredibly arrogant and egotistical. She claims that other people are intellectually inferior, and that they are, essentially, too stupid for her to associate with. She would make similar comments about me until I got admitted to a selective university and began studying a smart major, accounting. This isn't just a problem with family members. The school constantly requests parent meetings because Nora will be rude to other students and refuse to socialize with them for class activities. Whenever they come back from the meetings, our parents will complain how the school doesn't understand Nora and is trying to drag her down with the average kids. They'll pretty much reassure Nora every time that she shouldn't have to hold herself back. I don't have any classes on Fridays, so my parents ask me to pick up Nora from school since they work and they don't want her taking the bus due to COVID concerns. Before I even get out of the parking lot, Nora starts to complain about being stuck with this kid for a Spanish group project. They were meant to split into pairs and practice the new vocabulary by writing out a minute-long skit and acting it out for the class. The boy Nora got paired with, Ike, was dyslexic and had trouble reading the script. Nora had outright called Ike, stupid, and said how he was, just making excuses, and, not trying hard enough. She kept ranting even when I would ask her politely to be quiet because I needed to focus on making certain turns. Nora complained how they had the option to pick a friend, but how her, underqualified, teacher had to put her with Ike because, no one in her class is intelligent enough to keep up with her. I had gotten to a red light, so I turned around and told her something pretty close to, Nora, you aren't friendless because everyone else is, intellectually inferior, you're friendless because of your nasty attitude. You may think you're the smartest kid in the room, but you won't go anywhere in life until you learn to treat people with respect, much less make friends. Something I've wanted to tell Nora for a very long time. My sister was stunned and was completely silent for the rest of the car ride. After dinner, once my parents were home and Nora was in her room, my parents basically laid into me for what I told Nora. They said how I was basically bullying Nora and telling her how she should hold herself back when she's exceptional. I told my parents that I wouldn't say anything like that again, but I still feel what I said was necessary. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. 100% not the asshole. You gave your sister reality check your parents should have. They're the true Oz in this story, raising a spoiled brat. Not the asshole. What you said was not only necessary but absolutely correct. Nora could be the most intelligent, talented, and attractive person in the world. But with an attitude and an ego like hers, nobody will want to work with her. She's never going to have friends or any kind of relationship because nobody wants to be around someone who persistently talks down to them. Your sister is a nasshole for her ableist comments towards Ike and her attitude in general, but the bigger Oz here are your parents. Nora may thrive academically, but by not teaching her proper social skills, your parents are setting Nora up for failure. Seriously, how is Nora being kind and respectful towards people, holding herself back? Your sister is exceptional. Exceptionally rude, ignorant, disrespectful, out of touch, socially maladjusted, entitled, spoiled, and stunted. I am impressed that you said what you said and nothing more. 
I'd have told her to apply her staggering intellect to learning some social skills or she will be eaten alive in the real world. Your parents are the asshole and they have failed Nora on a massive scale. They all need therapy. You were not being mean. She needed to hear what you said. Glad she shut up to think it over. Not the asshole. Telling her how she should hold herself back when she's exceptional. Is she exceptional at bullying other students for their perceived intelligence? Because you said absolutely nothing about holding herself back. You didn't tell her to act dumb in class to make friends. You didn't tell her she was a know-it-all and annoyed people with it. You didn't tell her being smart was a bad thing. You told her being an asshole makes you an unlikable asshole. She can still be the smartest person in the room and be kind about it, and it may be time for her to learn she won't always be the smartest person in the room. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She's 13. She should know better and treat people with respect. I went to middle school with girls like that who bullied me for my own learning disability. She needed a reality check. You didn't scream or yell. You didn't tell her that she'd never have friends. You just told her the truth. Not the asshole. In my opinion, school is for two key things, academic and social development. We get graded on academics but the social and emotional learning is just as much, if not more important, it's just not something you can put a letter grade on. I think you were spot on and if I had been in your sister's shoes, I wouldn't have been happy to hear it, but hopefully it's good food for thought that she'll come to appreciate later. Not the asshole she might have a high mental IQ, but it's useless without a high emotional IQ. I would know. I'm rating at 142 IQ, but only recently figured out how to navigate social settings, and I'm 33 yo. You did her a favor. Info. Is she on the ASD spectrum and if she isn't, has she been assessed? Am I the asshole for asking my friend to not go to his painting class since my girlfriend would be modeling? So my, 20M, and girlfriend, 21F, go to a college that has a decently sized art program. I'm not overly involved in that side of things. I'm a computer science major, and my girlfriend is an English literature major so she's right on the edge of the art program. A close friend of mine is an art major. His program offers an optional, art class, sort of thing where they meet four times a month to paint a model and they can bring the painting to one of their major classes for extra credit. This class isn't required and as far as I know most people do it for fun. My friend is a great artist and I've seen a lot of his work and it's always amazing and incredibly detailed like almost photorealistic and he hands them up in his dorm. And here comes the problem for me. My girlfriend told me this week that she signed up and was selected to E the model for the first four classes of the semester. I didn't have a problem with this, until I realized this would mean my friend would be seeing my girlfriend naked. Painting her, and hanging up a picture of my naked girlfriend in his room. I asked her first and told her I wasn't very comfortable with specifically my friend seeing her naked and said I'd feel more comfortable if she didn't do it. She said no and told me I was making this out to be sexual when it wasn't. I told her that it may not be sexual, but I still don't want my friend to have essential a nude of her hanging in a place where me and the rest of my friends go to hang out regularly. If he paints her, then it's likely all of my friends are going to see my girlfriend nude which is a huge problem for me. My girlfriend told me I was being overly insecure. So then I went to my friend as a guy. I assumed that since he was another man he would get what I was saying better than a woman could. I asked him if he could just miss the first four classes. I explained to him the situation and he said no as it's art and he gets no sexual pleasure from seeing the models naked. Usually it's old men in their 40s, but I doubt he won't get some level of arousal from seeing my girlfriend nude. So I asked him if he could just not hang my girlfriend's painting up and he got pissed. He accused me of pornifying his art and he had the right to put it wherever. He al significant other told my girlfriend and notes they both think I'm an asshole. Am I the asshole? So then I went to my friend as a guy. I assumed that since he was another man he would get what I was saying better than a female could. You are the asshole for this shit alone. This isn't a problem of men versus women. This is a problem of you still being emotionally 12. The only person who has a right to care about people seeing your girlfriend naked is your girlfriend. Your opinion and ego don't matter. Modeling and drawing are not sexual, and if you don't understand that, it's on you. I'm going to say this very clearly so you understand. You do not own your girlfriend. You do not own her body. I hope your girlfriend leaves you over this, because you still have a lot of growing up to do before you're ready for an adult relationship. Edit. Thanks for the awards, kind Redditors. You are the asshole. I'm an artist. You have no idea how important those figure drawing classes are. 
To miss four drawing sessions is a lot to miss. You are asking him an outrageous thing by asking him to miss out on some of the most important aspects of an art major. It's also very hard to get models and the right lighting. Most of us never get to draw like that again with the proper lighting, models and poses. You are also not thinking about this at all like a serious artist, you're thinking like a horny dude. I drew some hot dudes but never felt aroused or in the mood. I was in the zone and there to learn my craft and hone my skills. You're being selfish and controlling to both your friend and girlfriend. You clearly have no respect for either. I assumed that since he was another man he would get what I was saying better than a female could. God you sound insufferable to be around. You are the asshole for imposing your sexualized objectification of the female form onto other people. It's art FFS. It's fine that you are uncomfortable with it that's not what you're judged on here. And it was mature of you to express that to your GF points for that. However she said no and told me I was making this out to be sexual when it wasn't. Followed by. I still don't want my friend to have essential a nude of her hanging in a place. And hash x 200 b. Means you are absolutely sexualizing this art. As soon as your girlfriend told you, no, you needed to respect her decision about her body and not interfere further. No assholes here I think your discomfort is fairly normal, but it also means that a girlfriend who poses nude is not compatible with you. To everyone calling op the asshole, I have to ask, would you be okay with your friend having a nude picture of your GF boyfriend hung up on their wall? And would you be okay with your close core group of friends seeing it repeatedly? That being said, to anyone saying op is not the asshole, I ask, do you know that a painting isn't an actual picture? It's not gonna be as detailed and really, the picture can be made to be another woman. You are the asshole. Nudity isn't sexual unless you make it sexual. And they both have a right to peruse their artistic creativity and passion as they see fit without your childish tantrums. Grow up. If you are convinced that looking at a beautiful artistic portrait is going to make your friends think sleazy thoughts and treat you or your girlfriend badly get better friends. You're not an asshole for being uncomfortable. We can't change our views overnight. You are the asshole for going behind her back to your friend though. You def need to learn to respect her before you lose her. Am I the asshole for telling my wife to sthu because of the remark she made towards my 16 yo sister? My M28 sister F16 was diagnosed with cancer in 2021 and treatment has been hard on her, she's the shy type and can be incredibly insecure and lack confidence about her looks. Any remark, no matter how small would get to her and affect her right away. It's a while since I've seen her and the other day I was facetiming her and my parents to check on her. My wife joined us and sat next to me without taking her eyes off my sister. Note my wife is a makeup artist and tends to make plenty of assumptions about other women's faces which isn't a cool thing. But anyway, my wife started talking to my sister about whether or not she started caring for her skin and my sister said she recently started a clean and clear lotion to improve her look but my wife chuckled and said that clearly, this product isn't working because she, my sister, still looked like a cancer patient even though she's recovered. I was stunned and so were my parents, my sister immediately got up and left the room. I looked at T.Y. wife and told her what she said was messed up and she should S.T.H.U. with her nonsense remarks because she just insulted and hurt my sister. She started back paddling saying she was just giving her opinion and the fight started. My parents hung up and my wife flipped out saying I humiliated her by telling her to S.T.H.U. infrony of my parents and claimed I had no respect for her to speak to her like that. I told her what she said made my sister cry knowing that she's been through hell and can be very insecure about her self-image but my wife argued that she's being too sensitive and she was again. Just giving her opinion and giving her advice in terms of skincare. I stormed off leaving her yelling about what an asshole I was to speak to her this way and ruin the respect my parents had for her. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Bullying your little sister, who suffered through fucking cancer for her looks as divorce material. Was she a high school mean girl or something? Did you find her on a set of a teenage drama movie? The audacity to speak like this to your sister. I could not stay with that person. Do you plan on having children? Isn't makeup about empowerment? Sorry, but this got my blood boiling. I am ready to call you an asshole if you do not seriously rethink that relationship. Oh, that's rich. You have no respect for telling her to sthu, but her telling a recovering cancer patient with known insecurities about it is, just an opinion, gosh you don't have to be so mean about it. Not the asshole. Your wife was a major asshole. She's always been a major asshole and your sister is only her latest victim.
Not the asshole but boy, your wife sure is. There are times in a marriage when telling a spouse to shut the hell up is appropriate, and this is one. Yeah, she felt humiliated, your wife, and deserves to be. Her comment was way out of line but her defense? She was just giving her opinion? That's so cruel I can't fathom. A woman thinks she's entitled to say her opinion on everyone's looks, especially a relative, in front of others, who is a teen girl with cancer, unasked. She just says it? She's cruel. Not the asshole. There isn't enough concealer in the world to hide your wife's stupidity. Fuck cancer. Your wife humiliated herself when she, in front of everyone, told your sister her routine, didn't work. You only told her what everyone were thinking so she could check herself. I would guess that your sister isn't the only one that is insecure. Difference is that your sister doesn't pick on others just because she feels confident in certain aspects of beauty. Not the asshole. Again fuck cancer. Not the asshole for telling your wife to STFU. You are the asshole for exposing your young, vulnerable sister to your hateful wife, knowing what she is capable of. Your little sister beat cancer. She is a fucking warrior and there is so much inherent beauty in that. Your wife can put on all the makeup in the world and is still ugly to her core. God help you if you have kids. She is not mother, or I dare say, wife material. Clearly not the asshole. All those people who do stuff like. Did you gain weight? Or, what about your skin? It looks so bad. Or, did you dress in the dark today? Or, did you lose a lot of hair? Need to shut up. Everything a person can't change within 30 seconds doesn't need to be addressed it will make the person uncomfortable. Ruin the respect my parents had for her. She did that all by herself. There is an asshole here, but it ain't you, your sister or your parents. In all seriousness, when you two both calm down, I would have a very clear conversation with her about how earnestly she must apologize and try to get her to recognize how completely out of line this comment was. For anyone, but a teenager who survived cancer. WTH was going through her mind? Being this judgmental is ugly maybe she needs to consider how she looks before speaking like this in the future.